What's up, everybody? How you doing? And welcome to another one of our Mythic Pluses and what we're going to do about it. So my name is Lord PDTV. I am here to give you our affixes and dungeons and information about what is coming up with this upcoming week. Now, as you all know, this week is, you know, a little bit different than all the others. Um, it is going to be week 19. Uh, and what is that going to bring for us? First, please make sure you hit that subscribe button here to, so you can see all of the new information that we have coming out. So, all right. Well, the first thing we're going to talk about is uh, we're going to talk about what our affixes are and what they do. And then from there, we'll kind of do a quick rundown of all of our season three season three dungeons and uh you know kind of what to watch out for kind of where you know where to be careful uh as you're going through those dungeons so um this week uh you know it's going to be fortified storming and bursting now what is that going to mean so uh fortified means um non-boss enemies are going to deal more damage uh then we're going to have storming which is those spinning tornadoes that are going to be coming off of you know the, the creatures and the monsters Right by the tank, and the last one is going to be bursting. Oh, uh. anyway, so anyway, so that means that um, when non-boss enemies die, they're gonna do damage to the group. Man, what a what a week! What a week! Uh, there's no really thing else I could say about that. Then this is gonna be a very interesting week for a lot of different people, uh, and a lot of different uh, formats. So. Uh, quick rundown of, you know, the dungeons you really got to be, you know, noted for. Now, the reason why this is going to be harder, in my opinion, the normal weeks is because of the combination between the fortified and the bursting, which means when you get ads that are going to be able to hit harder than normal, and then you, oh, I'm sorry, I could, I, I thought for some reason why I was bolstering, but bursting also does damage too. So um, it's kind of the same thing in my head. So I was thinking, um, when bursting goes off, if you have too many AOE damages that are going to go off, you're going to have to deal with the fortified portion of that on that side, which means, you know, those guys are going to be doing more damage. For instance, if you're in Waycrest Manor, you have a lot of casters in there. If you miss interrupting a cast for some way, shape, or form, you might die because of the combination between the fortified and the bursting. So you have to really, really be careful of those things. So it's good that the, 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 the bosses aren't going to be that bad, but these combinations of affixes, not pretty. So overall, the dungeons that are going to be the most situational problem as you're running through are going to be the ones that have multiple affixes, uh, and I should say multiple affixes, multiple large pulls together. For instance, um, just kind of talking in general, we're going to kind of go through stuff really quickly. Galakron's Fall, first half of, you know, Dawn of Infinites, you know, there are very few large pulls. For instance, you know, you have to really, really be careful of that. Like that first pull that we always, everyone always takes. Everyone takes that large pull, lusts it, burns through it. Be careful. Now, there's lots of different things there when you're kind of going through it all. Like right before the Blight of Galakron, you're going to have, you know, those ads that are going to really, really hurt because they're larger. The ones right before, you know, Manifested Timeways, those guys are going to be really, really hurting you because there's like, you know, a lot of large damage people there that are casters. So you have to be aware of those things when you're going through. As for, you know, the later end of it, you know, those mobs aren't too bad. But, you know, um, a Riticron isn't going to be that big of a deal. Uh, rise, you're going to have the same kind of situation, you know, going in between, uh, the, right before the first boss, the, all those mini bosses are going to be really, really annoying, difficult to deal with. Can't really mass pull them as much, you know, right before, you know, the, right before you break and going into like manifested time, uh, I'm, not, I'm sorry, um, timeless battlefield, you know, you got to be careful of all of those mobs there. So be careful of that there. Um, right before you pull um, Morchi, you know, those ads there. Uh, all the pre-bosses guys right before Time Lost Battlefield. Those guys are going to hurt. So you have things like that you're going to want to be careful of as you're going through Marazon's Rise. Uh, you know, like Waycrest Manor, as I said, it, there's a lot of larger pulls in there. Uh, but some people tend to die before others. So the bursting really shouldn't be that bad. But you have that pull right after the first boss 
when you're in the courtyard, you have all those little mobs and everything. You gotta be really careful of that because of the burst thing. What else? What else is in there? All those guys right before, like all the kicks and everything, you're gonna have to really, really watch. Uh, the thorn callers, those guys are gonna have to be make sure they're interrupted and CC'd. So you have like those guys, you really gotta be careful of. Um, a tall Tazar, uh, if you end up taking the left route, be careful there because those guys really, really hurt, uh, especially the fanatics. So you have to really that thought to be careful of and worried about. So you have those little guys to worry about as you're as they're going around. So those are going to be problematic there. You're going to end up having, you know, the other packs, like the swords are even going to be hard to deal with if you double pull them because there's going to be so many of them and the bursting might affect them uh, getting you because their bites are just so hard. Um, what else? What else? Uh, uh, the first pull, I should say the pull before the princess. You got to be careful there. Um, yeah, so that's not too bad that that one, uh, dark heart thicket as always, most of the ads in the groups there are going to be really, really annoying to deal with just because they, they, there's just so much trash all over the place. All of them hit really, really hard. So you gotta be really, really careful about that all around, uh, as you're going through, um, black rook hold, you know, they have lots of larger pulls. We have that large first pull. You have the large pulls uh, in the hallway going from the second boss to the third boss. So you have lots of larger pulls there. So you got to be really, really aware of them and really, really got to watch those there. Uh, as for Everbloom, like I said before, all those pulls are very, very large. Lots of them are very, very dangerous. Uh, you know, Berserkers are really, really going to hurt. So, you know, just kind of think about that while you're going through it all. Uh, as, you know, they're going to end up doing some more damage to you than normal. So you just got to think about that too. Uh, Throne of Tides, uh, you know, those large pulls that you start off with. The first pull, you pull almost the whole entire hallway. Then, you know, that you have that small group there. Then you got to go upstairs. That whole hallway. That hallway you got to be careful of. And then you got to be careful of the pull right before the um, the group later on trying to think um the one in, the ones in that room where that guy comes down and then even the the pulls to the left and the right going to the third and fourth boss that dungeon is probably going to be marked for me probably the hardest one for the week uh other than uh dark heart thicket i think that's what i'm going to say that's what i'm going with so so yeah overall just be very careful of you know the dungeons that you're going through kind of really take a moment to kind of check your route make sure it's not gonna be too crazy you know go through it and uh hopefully you'll end up you know taking them out and going through the other side uh as always you know this week is actually um i'm gonna be at pax east this week so if you see me walking around please don't hesitate to come over give me a oh hey what's up take a photo you know i just say what's going on uh you know the whole entire uh, crew from uh, from Lords of Gaming .net are going to be there. Everyone from the Iron Lords podcast is going to be walking around there. So if you see us, take photos. We love doing that stuff. So uh, as always, thank you so much for checking us out. Please uh, sub to our if you're looking to you know get some great uh, gamer glasses, cameras, uh, mounts, th brackets, things like that. They love that stuff. Uh, and then on this, the other side of things, uh, you know, make sure you know uh, we have our merch store on Teespring. Link is down below. And as always. Um, you know, we use, uh, rogue energy drinks for our, you know, as I was our fuel for the game, uh, Lord PDTV, uh, is the codes if you're looking for it. So thanks again, everyone. I appreciate it. Good luck on this week. Uh, I'm going to try to have a full video made out, uh, this week or in next involving, you know, the, the next season, season four from the information we have, uh, season four should be coming out. I'm going to estimate probably, probably five, six, maybe six or seven weeks. So just something to kind of put in your minds as you're going through things. So love you all. Dream big, keep gaming. Have a fantastic rest of your week. Good luck on your vaults. We'll see you all soon. Bye, everybody.